Today was an interesting day. They finally revealed the MetaQuest 3S at MetaConnect to no one's surprise, uh, except mine, because I completely forgot MetaConnect was even today. And so I was just kind of caught uh, off guard by it, honestly. Um, but it's here. After, God, months uh, of leaks uh, about this thing, it's finally officially been revealed. And I gotta say... It's looking pretty nice. First off, it really is surprising. Well, not for meta standards necessarily, but it is surprising how close this thing is to us. I mean, this thing is like half a month away, which is crazy and not a great marketing choice. I'll say that, but it's almost here already. $299 this thing is, and we'll kind of get into the price and what that means later. But ooh, this thing... I wasn't that excited for it, but the more I kind of think about it and look at it, the more excited I actually get. First off, we got Mark Zuckerberg with this fucking fresh fit. I think he's finally kind of leaning out of his lizard era. Uh, he actually decided to get a different haircut this time, and he kind of looks like Handsome Fella. So that's a choice. Now, the Quest 3S obviously has been leaked for a while, and the only thing we really knew about it was uh, we kind of had vague ideas of the specs and that it was going to be uh, a replacement for the Quest 2. It was going to be an entry point slash kind of consumer version uh, of the Quest 3, which is already out on shelves and all that jazz, uh, but, you know, for consumers. So, let's not beat around the bush. How does this thing compare to the Quest 3? There it is. Uh, obviously, let me tell you what this actually means, because to basically anyone, this is just a bunch of numbers. Uh, and a lot of this stuff to me is just a bunch of numbers, but I can kind of sum it up in a way that makes sense. So first off, the 3S is still using that upgraded chip that was added with the Quest 3. It's still got 8 gigs of RAM, uh, so already off the bat, it's pretty much better than the Quest 2, uh, right off the bat. We'll come back to the price in a minute. The display, everyone saw this coming, it's not as good. It's not as good as the base Quest 3s, uh, with only 773 pixels per inch, uh, as opposed to 1,218. That's still better than the Quest 2s, as far as I'm aware. And the Quest 2 still had a really solid display, in my opinion. FOV is a little lower, which I think that's probably a bigger drawback. FOV is something that a lot of people don't know they want until they have it, uh, but it does make a whole lot of difference. With the 3S, we did lose the pancake lenses. Instead, we're opting back to the... I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce that. You see it though. Fresnel? I don't know how to pronounce it. Forenzel? Is that it? Forenzel? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, if you're like me, you're probably asking what the fuck is the difference between the pancake lenses and the Fischoffel uh, lenses. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I know that the pancake lenses are better. It's just, to me, the display between the Quest 2 and Quest 3 already was not that, like, crazy of, of a gap. So it being better than the Quest 2 by default is still really good. Uh, aside from that, it weighs 1 gram less. That was always my big rep with the Quest 3. It weighed 515 grams and not 514. The battery's a bit worse, which I think is a, also a pretty bad drawback because the base Quest 3 battery is not great either. But then again, it will be running games at lower settings, so maybe it's kind of equal. Still, not great, <laughs> but it is a little better. And one thing that you like to see is that the Quest 3 controllers remain completely intact, seemingly. No big rings or anything. We got the base sexy controllers of the Quest 3 without any compromises, it looks like. So that's nice. So we've seen how it compares with the Quest 3, but the thing is, for people who don't have a Quest 3, they don't really know what to base it off of. They don't know what to base it off of. Uh, it's not as good as the Quest 3. Well, what does that mean? I don't know how good a Quest 3 is. So, we're going to be looking at it strictly on its own as a headset. As a headset, you're going to be able to do basically everything that the Quest 3 could already do. You're going to be able to play the same games, which is a big plus. That new Batman Arkham game that they're hyping up and all that, that is going to be available day one on the Quest 3S. Well, I say day one when the game launches. Aside from the graphics obviously being a bit lower, uh, really, it's going to look about the same. The best thing to base the Quest 3S off of is the Quest 2. This is supposed to be a direct competitor of that. And going into this, I'm assuming you already kind of know the gist of the Quest 2, what it runs and all that. It can do everything the Quest 2 can do, but better. And look at that price. I know the Quest 2 is cheaper than this now because of a bunch of price cuts. But I do know around its launch and for the majority of its lifespan, it was around this price. 
and and for that getting a better deal at the same price is that's that's pretty nice on its own if you're getting this instead of the quest 3 i think that's perfectly fine i think that is entirely fine that is a perfectly fine choice there aren't really many compromises when it comes to the 3s than you would think Sure, the display and graphics might be worse, but the thing is, once you're actually in VR and in that display, it doesn't really matter, because bottom line, regardless if it's worse, it's still pretty damn good. The Quest 3S can run every Quest 3 game, uh, at least of now, if that changes later, I was I didn't say this, but I, I kind of doubt that'll happen, because they are shockingly similar. They've got the same amount of RAM, they've got the same uh, Snapdragon chip, so they're both pretty comparable. And the price difference. Oh my goodness, look at that. The Quest 3S is $300, while the Quest 3 is $500. That is a crazy price difference. I think this is an insane deal, because while they may be different in terms of specs and whatnot, the difference in specs is not $200. It's more like $100. So the fact that this is a $200 difference is amazing. $300, I think, is the de facto consumer price for a console or whatever. $500 was fine, but I still think that's pretty overpriced, especially if they wanted to make it a consumer headset. But the Quest 3 didn't do that great, uh, compared to the Quest 2 at least, uh, so giving it another shot at trying to make a consumer headset is what we need. I'd also like to uh, give credit to the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, usually the marketing for these headsets are abysmal, uh, and the trailers aren't that great either, and I do have some concerns with that that I will go over in just a second, but this trailer, it's good, it's good, I like it, I like the trailer, we're, we're getting back on track. The big selling point of this console is the price, and I think that's a good thing. Because that's what we need. We need an entry point. The Quest 2 was that, and it did great. But the Quest 3 just did not hit that mark. That $500, it was a bit too intimidating. $300, I think that is a perfect price. If they went down to something like $200, I think they'd be cutting way too much off of the Quest 3 experience. And it would end up being a complete downgrade across the board whereas the quest 3s if you don't have the money i see this as a perfectly fine option now i do have some concerns one specifically the marketing now i said i like the trailer i really do however after the quest 2 they kind of forgot how to market this thing properly they have been marketing the quest and stuff less as a game console and more as a work device which it's not it won't be that for a while, uh, and I think if they want all this metaverse, all this crazy shit, they need a player base first, and they're not gonna get that player base if they don't have this consumer-friendly game console. If they are solidified as a game console, and they have a good player base because it's a game console, then I think it would be better to add some work environments into the headsets, but for now, we're just not there yet. They tried doing that with the Quest Pro, and it flopped, because for one thing, it was way too overpriced, and two, it was shit. And speaking of, this console completely makes two previous headsets obsolete. That being the Quest 2, obviously, which I've talked about, and the Quest Pro. The Quest 3 already made that obsolete, uh, both those obsolete, but the light version of it also uh, makes them obsolete, which I think is funny. But anyways, do I think this is worth it? Yeah. I mean, I've been saying it the whole time, but yeah, no, I really do think this is a great price and made even better when you now realize that I am a meta affiliate. Yes, baby. This is the perfect time. Yes, I am now a meta affiliate. And if you look in the link in the description right now, you will see an affiliate link for this bad boy right here, the Quest 3S. First and foremost, using the link will directly support me. And, and if you pre-order before this thing releases using the affiliate link, when the headset arrives, you will get $30 in store credit. That's cool. I think that's kind of awesome. So if you want to help me and get 30 extra bucks in the process, come on, come on, please. Come on, please, 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 I'm begging you. My headphones just fell. I've 
caused a ruckus. Now, these are kind of my first impressions. Uh, I might make another video if I end up getting it. I'm hoping Meadow will send me one, but there's no guarantee at all uh, as of now that they will do that. But I will uh, update you guys, and if I somehow get my hands on this thing uh, or more info comes out about it, I will probably, maybe, kind of, maybe, possibly make another video. But for now, these are my first impressions. If you enjoyed, you're new to the channel or whatever, like and subscribe, drop a comment, any of that jazz. I've got memberships, i got a Discord server link in the description, all that bullshit. Thank you for watching, regardless. If you made it this far, thank you. It really does mean a lot. Uh, thank you. That's it. See you later. Oh, one last thing. I have a video coming out Saturday that was recorded before this. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that little fact. Anyways, actually, for real this time, bye-bye. I'll see you later. Have a good one.